There are only a few remnants remaining of South Omaha's Johnny Rosenblatt Stadium these days, but plenty of memories of the man who the stadium was named for are right on display now. John Chapman talked to a couple of recently graduated baseball experts about Omaha's Johnny Rosenblatt. Actually, Johnny Rosenblatt, he was a great ball player in high school. He got a uh, scholarship to play for the uh, University of Iowa, but he couldn't go because his family needed him to work. Lisa Kammerer and Elise O'Neill completed a ton of research in order to create the Douglas County Historical Society's exhibit, The History of Baseball in Omaha. A big part of that history is Johnny Rosenblatt. He played sandlot ball and in and, and different pro leagues, or semi-pro leagues, I should say. But um, Robert Sterry recruited him to be on their team. And um, he said, give me, a, give me a sales job and I'll do it. And that started his career as a salesman. Rosenblatt was able to continue his sandlot and semi-pro career and play with some of the greats of the day. In the, the uh, 1927 barnstorming game that Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth came, he was on one of the teams. He played in one of those teams. He was a very young man at that time. In the 1940s, Rosenblatt and other city leaders pushed to build a baseball stadium in Omaha to attract a AAA franchise. Municipal Stadium was eventually constructed, and Rosenblatt eventually became Mayor Rosenblatt. In 1950, Rosenblatt and other city leaders got the NCAA to bring the College World Series to Omaha. When it came, um, there was a lot of concerns because open air and then all the weather that we get in Omaha <laughs> that so many games were going to be rained out. But Omaha weathered the storm and so did the College World Series. And in 1964, Municipal Stadium was renamed Johnny Rosenblatt Stadium. Now they play the College World Series in a downtown ballpark. The road to Omaha has withstood the test of time and so have the memories of Johnny Rosenblatt and Johnny Rosenblatt Stadium. There was just something so homegrown and grassroots and familiar and comfortable with Rosenblatt. Uh, Dingerville, the, the RV park that, that would spring up every year. It was a great little neighborhood, people from all over the country. So it, it's hard to let go of that. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News.